Monday, 20th week after Pentecost, morning meditation. The moment of Patri, feel your spirit dissolve. Amen. <clears throat> meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. First choice is Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of Faith in the Presence of God. Nomina Patri, Fili, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Most Holy, Adorable, and Undivided Trinity, One God and Three Persons, I believe that Thou art here present. I adore Thee with the deepest humility and render Thee with my whole heart. Muhammad, which is due to Thy Sovereign Majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for Thy servant heareth. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my Mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for. Saints and angels call upon one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being despised. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being calumniated. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten. Deliver me, Jesus, from the fear of being ridiculed. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected. Deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase, and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. That others may be chosen, and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. That others may be praised, and I am noticed. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. And Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our morning meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin. Ave Maria Grazia, upon Dominus Tecum, Benedicta tu in Mulieribus, and Benedictus Fructus Ventris tu Jesus. Sancta Maria Mata Dei, or Penobis Peccatoribus, Nucleo Horum Matis Nostra. Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancta, Secret Erat in Principio, Nuc et Semper, in Secula Seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost. Fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created. It shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost. Grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Christ our Lord, amen. <clears throat> Monday, the uh, 20th weekend of Pentecost, morning meditation, St. Teresa's Precious Death. The dying saint conversed lovingly with her divine spouse. Quote, O oh, my Lord and my spouse, the hour so earnestly longed for has at last arrived. It is time now that we should see each other, O oh Lord. The day is dawned at last when I am to leave my place of exile to go to share with thee in that joy which I have so ardently desired. Unquote. The Holy Mother Teresa on leaving Burgos was desirous of going to her dear convent in Avila, that she might rest a while in that her first and favorite abode, where she began her reform. But her heavenly spouse summoned her to another home and to eternal repose. The Lord wished to have her in the land of the blessed. Therefore, he permitted that, as she was on her way, her provincial should send her an order to repair to the convent of Alba. There God was awaiting her to deliver her from the prison of this life and to conduct her to the everlasting nuptials. Come, O oh my saint, come. Your spouse deems that your labors have now been sufficient, and his heart is touched with compassion by your sight sighs. Come to the repose that you desire. Come to the haven after having encountered the storm. Come to begin that new life of love which you will enter by a death of love, which the Lord is preparing for you in this favored spot. The saint obeyed and reached Alba on St. Matthew's Day at six o'clock in the evening in the year 1582. 
Her daughters welcomed her with great reverence and great affection, perhaps not without some presentiment that they should lose her before long. They received her benediction and kissed her hand, while the saint was tenderly and affectionately speaking with them. When she arrived, she was fatigued from her journey and unwell from an attack of fever, so that she retired immediately to her bed at the entreaty of her children with these words, quote, Oh, may God assist me, my dear daughters, as I feel quite overpowered. It is now more than twenty years since I retired to rest at so early an hour. Blessed be the Lord that my sickness has fallen upon me while I am amongst you. Unquote. During the eight subsequent days, her illness continued, but she never allowed to prevent her from rising to receive her Jesus in Holy Communion, who was to her the only life of her life. But on St. Michael's Day, still suffering from the sickness that was to bring her to her grave, she took to her bed in the infirmity, never more to leave it. There she remained for a day and night in the ecstasy of prayer, and having learned then through revelation the hour and the moment of her decease. She told the venerable sister Anne of St. Bartholomew, her beloved companion in all her travels, that the hour of her departure had come. Three days before her death, when Father Anthony of Jesus had come to hear her confession, he told her to pray to God to preserve her life for the good of the reform. But the saint replied that there was no longer any need to think of this, as her death was a certainty, and her presence upon the earth was no longer necessary. The doctors ordered her to be bled, and to this she willingly submitted, not out of any desire for recovery, but from the fervent wish she had to suffer, and to close her life in the midst of sufferings as she had ever desired, for the love of her dearest spouse, whose will it had been to expire amidst so many torments on the cross. On the eve of the Feast of St. Francis, she asked for the Most Holy Viaticum, and whilst they were bringing it, all her religious being assembled in her chamber, she burst into tears and clasping her hands together, said to them, quote, My daughters and my mothers, pardon me for the bad example I've set you, and do not imitate me, who am the greatest sinner in the world and who have observed my rule less than all others. For the love of God, my children, I pray you to observe that rule perfectly, to obedient to your superiors. Unquote. She who had been so great a lover of obedience recommended nothing but this virtue, when at the point of death, knowing, as she did, that the perfection of religious depends on the perfection of their obedience. The Holy Viaticum having been brought she had the courage at the coming of her spouse to raise herself into a sitting posture although her feebleness was such that she could scarcely stir the ardor with which her love inspired her was so great that she appeared ready to throw herself from her bed to go to meet the only beloved of her soul and receive him her countenance became so inflamed and radiant they, they could not gaze upon her she clasped her hands together burning like the phoenix with the liveliest ardor, the nearer she approached the end of her life, the more she lovingly conversed with her spouse, so that she drew tears from all present. Amongst other things, she said, quote, Oh, my Lord and my spouse, the hour so earnestly longed for at last arrived. It is time now that we should see each other. Oh, Lord, the day is drawn at last when I am to leave my place of exile to go and share with thee in that joy which I have so ardently desired. Unquote. What gave her most consolation that hour and chiefly called forth her thankfulness towards God was the fact of her being a child of the Holy Church. She could not refrain from saying over and over again, quote, After all, O Lord, I am a daughter of the Church. She also frequently repeated the versicle of David, quote, A contrite and humbled heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Psalm 119. On the following day, after receiving extreme unction, she held the crucifix tight in her embrace and remained 14 hours in an ecstasy, with a countenance shining like fire and immovable, beginning from that time to experience a foretaste of the great glory that God had prepared for her in heaven, where her spouse was summoning her in these words, quote, Arise, make haste, my love, and come. Canticles 2.10 then it was that, before the saint expired, Sister Anne, her companion, saw her spouse, Jesus, and a multitude of angels come and take up their position at the foot of her bed, awaiting the moment when they should conduct her to heaven. Besides Teresa's bed was her sweet Mother Mary and St. Joseph, her beloved father. 
Lastly, she saw a multitude of persons clothed in white and all shining with light, entering with great joy into the cell of that dying saint. It is supposed that these were the ten thousand martyrs who had promised her that they would accompany her to paradise. We drew near at the moment when Teresa, her beautiful life being consumed in a furnace of love, expired sweetly through the force of that love. Her blessed soul issued forth from its prison and flew away like a dove to its beloved in paradise. Indeed, at the very moment they saw her soul as white as a white dove flying to heaven, at the same time she appeared in glory to Sister Catherine of Jesus and told her that her life had been terminated through the vehemence of her love and that she had gone to rejoice in God. Her virgin body forthwith ex exhaled a delightful fragrance which diffused itself throughout the whole convent. Oh, what a blessed reward the labors of the saints receive at the hour of death. While sinners experience a death, sadness, confusion, remorse, despair, the foretaste of their damnation, the saints, on the, other, on the contrary, are filled with confidence, peace, light, and joy, a foretaste of paradise. Come, ye senseless ones, come and see in this poor cell of Teresa how contentedly those die and leave this earth who have already abandoned the world to give themselves wholly to God. O devout soul, fail not to keep your eyes on the closing scenes that will take place at the hour of your own death. Do now what you will wish to have done, but will not have the power to do then, and you will become a saint, and your death will be a happy one. Behold then, O Teresa, thy sighs are heard, thy desires are fulfilled, thy love satisfied. Thou art now released from banishment and has reached thy place of rest. Thou art now rejoicing with that good who was the object of thy love, loving that God whom thou didst sigh after. But amidst thy splendors, do not be unmindful of us, wretched as we are. Have compassion on us who go on our way, weeping as travelers in this valley of tears, and ever in danger of losing God. For pity's sake, address thy Jesus in our behalf, that he may pardon the many sins we have committed. Pray to him to deliver us from every attachment to the things of this world, which would hinder us from going to join thee in loving God in paradise. Spiritual reading. Little chaplet in the honor of St. Teresa. To be recited every day during the novena. O most amiable Lord Jesus Christ, we thank thee for the great gift of faith and devotion to the holy sacrament which thou didst grant to thy beloved Teresa. We pray thee by thy merits and by those of thy faithful spouse to grant us the gift of a lively faith and of a fervent devotion towards the most holy sacrament of the altar, where thou, O infinite majesty, hast obliged thyself to abide with us even to the end of the world, and where when thou dost so lovingly give thy whole self to us. Atenosta, clear sincerely, sanctificate no tum, vagrant regnum tum, via volantus tua, seek in cello and in terra, panelos in cotiam, the nobis horiae, a dipti nobis debita nostra, seek in los diminimus debitoribus nostris, and ne nos in ducas in tentazione, sed libra nos amare. Ave Maria Grazia, pana dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Sancta Maria Mata Dei, or Penobis Peccatoribus, Nuc and in Hora Mortis Nostre. Amen. Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancta, Sicud Erat in Principio, Nuc et Semper, in Secula Seculorum. Amen. O Jesus, who did pierce with love Teresa's beauteous heart, of her sweet love upon my soul, let fall a flaming dart. O most merciful Lord Jesus Christ, we thank thee for the great gift of hope which thou didst grant to thy beloved Teresa. We pray thee, by thy merits and by those of thy holy spouse, to give us a great confidence in thy goodness, by reason of thy precious blood, that thou hast shed to the last drop for our salvation. Pater nostra, clear in cello, sanctificate nom tuum, vegnet regnum tuum, via volantis tua, seek in cello and in terra, pater nostrum cotiam de nobis hordiae, dig to nobis debita nostra, seek in los diminimus debitoribus nostris, ne nos in ducas in tentazione, sed libra nos amare. Ave Maria Grazia, Pana Dominus Tecum, Benedicta tu in Mulieribus, and Benedictus Fructus Ventris tui Jesus, Sancta Maria Mata Dei, or Penobis Peccatoribus, Nuc in Hora Mortis Nostre, Amen. Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancta, 
Siculeret in principio, nunc et semper, in secula, seculorum. Amen. O Jesus, who did pierce with love Teresa's beauteous heart, of her sweet loving upon my soul, let fall a flaming dart. O most loving Lord Jesus Christ, we thank thee for the great gift of love which thou did grant to thy beloved Teresa. We pray thee by thy merits and by those of thy most loving spouse to give us the great, the crowning gift of thy perfect charity. Pater noster qui es in celi, sanctificet nomen tuum, et vagnet regnum tuum, fia voluntas tua, sic in celo in terra. Pana nostrum quotiam de nobis hodie, et de ti nobis debita nostri. Sic nos de minimis debitoribus nostri, sin ne nos in ducas in tentationem, sed de bueno somala. Ave Maria, gratia plena dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, sin benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or per nobis peccatoribus, nunc in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patria, Filio, and Spiritus Sancta, sicut erat in principio, nunc et semper, in secula, seculorum. Amen. O Jesus, who didst pierce with love Teresa's beauteous heart, of her sweet love upon my soul, let fall a flaming dart. O most sweet Lord Jesus Christ, we thank thee for the great gift of, of great desire and resolution which thou did grant to thy beloved Teresa, that she might love thee perfectly. We pray thee by thy merits and by those of thy most generous spouse to give us a true desire and a true resolution of pleasing thee to the utmost of our power. Pater noster creus in celi, sanctificet nomen tuum, et vagnet regnum tuum. Fiat voluntas tua, sic in celo in terra. Pana nosum quotiam de nobis hodie, tibiti nobis debit nostri, sic nos de minimis debit orbis nostris. In ne nos in ducas in tentationem, sed de bueno somala. Ave Maria gratia pona dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, or per nobis peccatoribus, nuc in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Secret erat in principio, nuc et semper, in secula, seculorum. Amen. <clears throat> o Jesus, who did pierce with love Teresa's beauteous heart, of her sweet love upon my soul, let fall a flaming dart. O most kind Lord Jesus Christ, we thank thee for the great gift of humility that thou didst grant to thy beloved Teresa. We pray thee by thy merits and by those of thy most humble spouse to grant us the grace of a true humility, which may make us ever find our joy in humiliations, and prefer contempt to every honor. Pata noster creus in celi, sanctificet nomen tuum, begnet regnum tuum. Fia voluntas tua, sic in celo in terra. Pana nosum quotiam, de nobis hodie, tibiti nobis debit nostri. Sic in nos de minimis debitoribus nostri, sin ne nos in ducas in tentationem, sed de bueno somala. Ave Maria gratia, pana dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus. And benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, or per nobis peccatoribus, nuc in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancto, sicut erat in principio, nuc et semper, in secula, seculorum. Amen. O Jesus, who did pierce with love Teresa's beauteous heart, of her sweet love upon my soul, let fall a flaming dart. Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will, that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, a triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life and rule of life, now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee. And I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and grateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness, give me perseverance, and thy holy love I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In nomine Patria, Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Have a blessed morning and day, O slaves of Mary.